This is Battle Zachary, and this time we're going to do another art genre. This time we're going to do a little more one of my professional pieces, and it actually this is one of a tattoo design I'll probably want to get in the future. And my idea is a yin yang that's cracked and fine pieces. And I, as you can see, I haven't started drawing it at all. And on this side is one of my uh, drawing for another video you've seen here. And I'll. In order to start drawing something that you want to end up making, you always want to sketch it out, have different uh, ideas. So do little quick sketches uh, on how it's going to break apart. And this, these sketches shouldn't take you more than five seconds piece. So as you see, it's one of them done. And then you pick the one you really, really like and you really feel drawn. And if you don't feel drawing at none of the sketches, look at each of them, what do you like the best. If you like this element better than the other element, then take take bits pieces of all the different um, sketches, sketches and form a new sketch. And if you end up loving that, then you have the final piece and then take that and put it into the final drawing. And I'm not sure if I want it in color or with black and white, but that's something I have to think of upon after I draw the black and white version. If I want it in color, I can easily put it in color easily. Or I can tell the tattoo artist, and I want this this color and want that back color, and I, I'm good. For me, I did not have stable uh, stable enough hand to do that uh, tattoo artwork, so I would never do a tattoo artwork. So as you can see, uh, most sketches are being formed, and you keep th just doing that. It's best to sketch out the idea before you go to find drawing. If you're one of the few people who can just jump into the drawing and know where everything could go, then that's more to you. But for most people, if you don't sketch it out before you go to the final drawing, ten nine times out of ten, that idea you came up with would be the worst idea you could have come up with. Because if you sketch out different ideas, you sketch it out all the different kinks of the bad idea, or you might have a different idea that was a lot better than the original idea and totally different. That's why you always sketch because you don't know what you can come up with through the process of all these different variations and sketches. And it's good to do at least 20 sketches, 50 sketches before you even start the final drawing. More sketches you do, the better you are. But there are also some limit. There are also something as too many sketches as well. Because if you just all you do is uh, always sketch it, you will never get to the final drawing. But for some people, having like one hundred different sketches of this idea, hundred different sketches of this idea, that just means you get a lot better practice and a lot better as drawing. And if you do each one really quick uh, detailed sketches like five minutes a piece detailed that just means the more you do the more better you get and you keep in practice so if you do a hundred hands that's good to do a hundred sketches of hands before you do a figure and if all you're doing right now is practicing how to draw hands or how to draw different things then doing a ton and ton of sketches is the best thing to do before like a concept or illustration, doing too many sketches may not be the best for that subject. Doing 10 different sketches might be all you need, while some cases you might need 50 sketches because you just can't get the right idea down. So it depends on piece of my piece, but you always want to sketch at least 5 to 10 before you even start on the main piece. 
as you can see, as a reminder what I have so far. So I just keep on sketching, trying out different things. And this sketch doesn't have to look good at all. Because the first sketch is never going to look good. It just the kinks you have to work out. Some sketches will actually look good, some sketches won't. It just depends. And you just keep working on it until you get more and more done. And right now I actually really like this piece right here. And I think I want something more 3D effect with the ground kind of look to that yin yang symbol that's getting cracked apart. And you can see like a, like a pendant, a rock pendant or a slab that's just crumbling apart. And the meaning behind my cracking game is 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 cracked because it isn't impossible to be forced to bounce back to where it was, and impossible of it was balanced, but it, something happened that caused it to crack. So now it has had to rebuild itself to be balanced again. You're working towards being balanced again, and that's the meaning behind it. That was my idea. You start with the idea and then you execute the idea so you just guess it and then you have the final product. And the final products look really, really good, really, really well done. Uh, this is it to this is it how, on how to uh, sketch I, the idea to find a project. When this uh, final piece is done, I will show you show you guys on a future video. But right now, I think this is good for this video. Keep up the sketches and do meaning as you as you can. The more you draw, the better you get. Just keep practicing, practicing on everything and outside the comfort zone. The more you practice, the better you get. Please like and share and subscribe and if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. This is Balance Acme and we are out. Oh, I am.